Good morning guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to change the rear wheel speed sensors on your 2007 to 2012 Jeep JK Wrangler. This might be the same for the newer model JKs and maybe the JLs. I'm not 100% sure so I'm just going to do it for the earlier model JKs. There might be a slight difference and if you guys know if there is a difference please leave it in the comments below just in case someone needs to find the information as well. This is a very easy step. It does look a little bit complicated at the start but uh, with a few tools um, and a little bit of patience it's a very easy job. Um, and it's very annoying as well we've had those lights come up on the dash recently to indicate that one of our speed sensors has gone out. We did do the engine check code which um, I'll put a little code here, I can't remember it off by heart, um, but identifies as the rear wheel speed sensors. So I got two of them off eBay, I think they were $23, I will leave a link for the Amazon and eBay ones down below. You might be able to find them at your parts store, local parts stores around where you are, um, but Amazon and eBay are uh, just as good and just as cheap. I think Amazon for some parts we got were like next day shipping, it's a really easy straightforward. $23 to replace them isn't bad at all and all you will need is an 8mm socket and a long extension a thin extension will be more beneficial because it is quite tight in there um, and they're just a ratchet as well would recommend getting a very thin uh, small flat head screwdriver because there is a clip there you will need to press um, just be patient with that clip I'll show you in a second uh, of what I mean because they are breakable you can replace them but they they are very easy to break we broke the one on the right hand side I'll show you guys the one on the left hand side I also recommend getting a light that's got either a magnet on the end um, to be able to stick to the diff or one of your control arms to be able to shed some light in there because it's a little bit hard to see now um, there will be the same between left and right I think just the bolts are one's facing up and one's facing down so just repeat the process on the um, whatever side you're doing now it's very tight in there so I'd recommend um, taking out that clip and actually pulling that plug out first. You'll see what I mean when we actually get under there. But there's no way to, the, the sway bars there, the axle and your control arms are there so there's actually no way of getting the speed sensor out with that actual sensor um, still plugged in. So I recommend pulling that out first, it's really easy to do. You just have to be very patient with it because you don't want to break those clips. Um, but other than that, you just have to wiggle it, turn it a little bit and it will pull out. Um, and then you just have to either clean it if that's what you're doing. Um, you can do that or you just replace it. They're fairly cheap. Um, and you just thread your new one back in and that's it. So that's probably any, any point in the video. Please drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. See if you guys are actually interested in these videos. And if you've got any videos you'd like me to make in the future whether it's replacing stuff on the Jeep, whatever it might be, let me know in the comments. I love making videos that you guys like. So let's stop talking and let's get on to it. So under the Jeep, and this is where you know it gets really dark between these two, um, the wheel and the actual thing itself. Now just here is your speed sensor. If the camera will focus, we'll try and get a better look on it. Just here, it's actually really hard to see in there. Just there is your speed sensor and below it is your 8mm bolt just there and you can see here there's a clip you need to take off and there's a red clip just on top of it there. And this is where your small but handy flathead screwdriver comes in. Just at the top of the clip there you'll see a little red clip, it's kind of hard to see, um, this has probably been painted a few times in black. You see a red clip, it's just got a little small clip on top of it the front there and you just need to press it in and you have to press it out it is a pain in the ass so do go slowly to get it out and once you get it you'll see that just pops straight off and you can see how big see we've actually someone's actually broken that in the past um, so that's really easy to come out and you can see the clip there and then you can just get move that out of the way. It's, um, 8 mil bolt. So grab your extension. I would recommend putting this on your extension on first because you can see you got your sway bar there, you got your diff mount there, and then you got your shock. So it's quite hard to actually get everything in there. So I'd recommend putting your extension on first between the sway bar of that damn plug would move out of the way. You can get it on there and you can see you can over thread it between the sway bar and the diff and it kind of just rests there and that way you can get a 
on there. And then, just have to crack it and pull it all the way out. It's tedious, and then it'll just come out, and then all you've got to do is... Now, it will take a lot of wiggling to get that out, because it's in like a kind of a weird position. Um, you just have to twist it and turn it a bit, and it actually gets out. And there, you have your speed sensor. Um, and then you just have to either clean it, whatever you're going to do, or put your new one in. And to put it in, pretty much put it in the way you're going to put it, well, the way it will sit. So our one's going to sit with that bolt, that facing down, and you just have to twist it a few times, just like you got it out. It is a bit tight, um, but a little bit of wiggling and stuff, it will just slide back in, um, and towards the end. You might have to, our one was quite uh, dirty and rusted in there. So you can get a small, your flathead screwdriver and just press against here while it's stuck in there. It can be quite tight, uh, so just grab that flathead screwdriver and just wiggle out a little bit. Uh, you might be able to see on there that a little, a few marks on there of our, us getting our one out, um, but it will pop out. Alright, so that's pretty much it for today guys. Really simple, easy video. I hope it kind of helped you guys um, take your one out. I did watch a few videos when I was doing mine, and I didn't find them that helpful or well to explain so i'm hoping i explained it better than some other people did um, if i didn't or it did help you please let me know in the comments below um, i really like to make stuff that benefits you guys and has helped you guys working in your car uh, whether it be a jeep or whatever else um, i have uploaded a few short videos recently that um, are just like little how to car trick car hack videos if you guys want to check that out i'll leave a few links down in the description below for other videos on my youtube channel um, but if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, like, subscribe, drop me a comment. But I really hope that you guys have found this beneficial and helped you guys replace the speed sensors in your car. Um, we did double check the lights. Um, now they have come up again. This is like a couple weeks on. Um, that the front speed sensors need to be replaced as well. So we'll be doing a video on how to replace the two front speed sensors. I have ordered them. They should be here today or tomorrow. And I found they were like $44 off ebay something like that um so in a couple of videos time we'll do a little video on how to place the two front speed sensors in your jeep um as well as we've got other videos as well on how to replace certain things in your jeep and modifying the jeep and all that sort of good stuff also a few little four-wheel driving videos in there as well so as always video and i'll see you guys next time